Today we're going to take a look at eight great non-branded perennials. Basically those are perennials that are not in the Proven Winners collection. Hi, I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings and today we're going to just look at a few of the beautiful spring bloomers and the funny thing is is a lot of these just happen to be my favorite perennials. I know I have a lot of favorites but there are definitely certain ones that I just really love and have to have in my spring garden. So let's go ahead and take a look at these eight great spring blooming perennials. Here we have a scabiosa. This is called Flutter Deep Blue and this is a long blooming perennial. So if you're looking for a perennial that starts blooming early in the summer and will continue to flower throughout the summer, this is a great plant. It's just starting to flower here in the greenhouse right now. You can see the beautiful lavender color. This plant likes to be grown in a full sun location and it gets about 14 inches tall. Let's take a little closer look at the flower. This forms a nice mounding habit and like I said, it blooms spring through fall, bringing this beautiful flower color to your garden throughout the entire season. This is a perennial grown in zone five through nine. So really a very big range for most all of us here that live in the United States. This would be a great plant for your garden. It likes to be grown in well-drained soil with full sun. It makes an excellent cut flower and it's one of those really super easy to grow perennials. So if you're looking for just a cute little mounding type habit perennial that's easy to grow, consider the Flutter Blue Scabiosa. Here we have the Halo Sky Blue Viola. This is a great perennial for the garden, hardy in zones four to nine. It forms a nice compact mounding type habit and blooms from the spring until the frost in the fall. Let's take a closer look here at the flowers. It's a very short growing perennial standing only eight to 10 inches tall and about that same width. Great for planting in mass, using it as a border. It likes to be grown in full to part sun locations. And the nice thing with this is no deadheadings required. It just continues to put on flowers all summer long. If you are more of a container type gardener, this is also a great plant to add to your container gardens. Super easy to grow. Uh, one thing I will say though, this is not rabbit resistant. So if you do have rabbits in your garden, this may not be the best selection for you. But these beautiful lavender purple blooms with that beautiful yellow splash of color really makes a very welcoming flower into any perennial garden. Iberia snow station is a big blast of color in the spring. I know it reminds us of snow as the name implies, but this is really gorgeous paired with like your creeping plaques or such. Very low growing and just creates a massive mound of white flowers in the garden. This forms a nice bounding habit, very compact, only six to eight inches tall and about 12 inches wide. It's a perennial in zones four to nine and likes to be grown in full sun locations. It does like to have good drainage and makes an excellent ground cover. So if you're looking for an easy plant to grow that just gives you this beautiful mass of white color in the spring, consider the Iberus snowsation. We're not going to forget about you shade gardeners. Here we have a beautiful Corydalis. This is called Canary Feathers. It's got these beautiful yellow tubular blooms. This here is another long blooming perennial for shady areas. Let's take a look at these flowers, just how beautiful they are. Canary Feathers forms a nice mounding habit. It blooms through the, from the summer well into the fall. Compact, standing only 9 to 12 inches tall and about 12 inches wide. It's hardy in zone six to nine, and in other areas it makes a nice annual because it does bloom all summer long. I feel that that gives it that annual value, even if you can't grow it as a perennial in your garden. It likes to be grown in the part shade to full shade locations and is another easy growing per perennial that landscape use or in a container, both of those would make an excellent place for this plant to be planted. So if you're looking to add a little splash of yellow to the garden, Corydalis canary feathers. I love delphinium. I just love the color of them. This one here is the Delphina light blue white bee. And I don't know, to me, to get this real rich blue color in the garden, it's really hard to find with really any type of plant. But if you're talking blue, delphinium are definitely one of the truest, bluest flowers you can add to your garden. Let's take a closer look here at the blooms. Delphina light blue white bee is a nice, has a nice upright habit. It stands about 14 to 18 inches tall, so it is a little bit more compact than many other delphinium on the market, and it gets about 18 inches wide. Hardy in zones four to eight, this is a full sun to part sun loving perennial. With a lot of delphinium, you may find that you need to stake them to keep them upright, 
With this one being such a nice compact habit, really no staking is required. So if you're looking to add a beautiful upright splash of blue to the garden, consider giving the Delphina a try. Another one of my favorite spring blooming plants are Columbine. And I don't know what it is about them, or Achalegia is another name. I don't know what it is about them, but they just, I don't know, they make me happy when I see them in my garden. Columbine come in several different colors. They come in pinks, whites, blues, purples, um, different flower forms and such. But to me, this is the most traditional flower form. I think that's out there. And I just, I'm loving that red and white coloration. This particular variety of Columbine is called Early Bird Red and White. It likes to be grown in full sun to part shade locations and gets about nine to 12 inches tall. It's hardy in zones three to nine and is a very beautiful addition to the spring gardens. If you trim the flowers back, you may see some rebloom throughout the summer, but typically the best bloom cycle is going to be early on. Uh, one thing I will say is these plants are very easy to naturalize in your garden, meaning once the flowers fade, they create little seed buds or little seed pods, and those seeds can easily be sprinkled throughout the garden. So if you're looking to have little sprigs of columbine kind of throughout your garden, it's very easy to do. Mix them up, add some blue, add some yellow, add some pink, and have a beautiful array of spring color with the early bird red and white columbine. If you're looking to add a native perennial to the garden, Spagila Little Redhead is a great addition. The thing with this is it's got such beautiful red flowers with a nice yellow center that it just really adds a bright pop of color to the landscape. Spagila Little Redhead, also known as Indian Pink, gets about two foot tall and two foot wide. It's hardy in zones five to nine. Likes to be planted in a full sun to part shade location and is an excellent cut flower in addition to if you're just looking to add a beautiful native to the garden, this is a great addition. The clump continues to get larger and larger every season, so you'll have more and more of these beautiful bright red and yellow blooms in the garden. Easy to grow, so if you're somebody that really doesn't like to fuss with plants, this is one of those nice and easy plants to grow and it also attracts hummingbirds. And last on our list is a Euphorbia bonfire, also knows, known as Cushion Spurge. This plant has excellent foliage, you can see here. It's excellent spring colored foliage, along with fall colored foliage, and it gets beautiful, just vibrant yellow blooms that just all over cover this plant. Euphorbia bonfire gets about 10 foot tall and creates a nice mounding habit. It's a perennial in zones five to nine, and likes to be grown in full sun to part shade locations. This plant is great for containers and in the landscape. And if you're just looking to have a plant that does a lot for you, not only gives you beautiful flowers, but also has great foliage throughout the season, the Euphorbia Bonfire is a top pick for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. As always, we love to answer any questions that you may have. And if you're new to the station, be sure to subscribe. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.